Hey everyone, Playful Steven, aka Brain Sloth, here with you to introduce machines new in Creativeverse R33. Let's get started by checking out the wiring tool. We'll start by equipping our wiring tool. That display gives us information about machines and wireable blocks. Right now it says, hey, point me at a machine. Now it says that this fan isn't connected to anything and its state is true, which basically means it's on. Next up, the switch. We can right click this beacon to turn it on and off, but I'd rather control it with a switch. Let's bring up our wiring tool. That symbol floating on the switch is a send hotspot, and that makes sense. We want the switch to send a signal to our beacon. I click it, then I click the beacon's receive hotspot. That's it, that's a complete connection, and now my switch controls my beacon. Next up, let's check out the switch's cousin, the pressure plate. I've got a pressure plate ready to go here. Let's wire it to this light. Pressure plates activate when something presses them down. Blocks, pets, almost anything. Here's a tip, a single switch or pressure plate can turn on multiple devices. And a lot of things can be wired. That's a new LED block. Before we check it out, let's look at some advanced device settings. When we point at something wireable with our wiring tool, we can press N to bring up its settings menu. Let's make a connection. A switch usually sends a signal to whatever it's controlling, so under Send, I'm going to pick a unique code word, Rockster. And for this fan, under Receive, I'll put that same code, Rockster. Now that their codes match, these two devices are connected. Next, we're ready to look at LED blocks. These three LEDs are connected to this switch. From the LED settings, I can assign this LED any color I can imagine. An infinite variety of colors to choose from. I choose... red. And why stop at three LEDs? I'd like to buy a vowel, Leafy. In the next segment, we'll check out advanced machines like the Delay Gate and the Logic Gate. The Delay Gate is an advanced machine that doesn't do anything on its own. Look at it just sitting there. Get to work, you lazy Delay Gate. The Delay Gate is connected between a sender, like this switch, and a receiver, like this LED. Under the Delay Gate settings, we can set a delay in seconds. I'll set this delay to 3 seconds. Now, when we flip this switch, the signal travels through the delay gate, which counts down 3 seconds before turning the LED on. And here's an example of a more complicated circuit using delay gates. Next up, the inverter gate. Where the delay gate delays a signal, the inverter gate flips the signal to its opposite value. In this example, I want to use the inverter gate to keep my red and green LED blocks in opposite states. If one's on, I want the other one off. Let's wire this up. This is a really useful circuit because it gives us a visual indicator of the state of the switch. Green is on, red is off. True, false. Next up, let's take a look at another advanced machine, the flip-flop gate. Flip-flop? Weird. The flip-flop gate acts like an inverter gate half of the time. When the switch turns on, the flip-flop goes positive so our green LED turns on. Off doesn't do anything, but when we flip the switch on again, the flip-flop gate goes negative and our circuit lights up red. If we keep flipping the switch, the gate keeps flip-flopping true and false. These advanced machines work with pressure plates too. The positive output happens when we step onto the plate. The flip-flop gate ignores stepping off. Next up, we'll look at the logic gate. The logic gate compares two input signals and outputs true or false based on the rules of logic. Let me show you what I mean. The logic gate has two inputs and I'm hooking up one switch to each one. We have our logic gate set to AND, which means it's only going to output true and turn on my green LED when the left switch and the right switch are on. Let's try it out. I get a negative output unless both hooked up switches are on. 
That's how AND works. There are lots more options than just AND. If I want either one of two switches to control the lights in my house, OR is a good choice. But if you're not sure what all this XOR, XNOR stuff is about, don't get discouraged. Consider those advanced options that are there if you need them. Next up, we'll check out the number pad and the number comparison gate. Here are two advanced machines that you're going to want to use together. The number pad lets you send a numeric code and the number comparison gate can receive numeric codes, compare them, then output true or false. We'll connect the number pad to the comparison gate's first receive hotspot. For the second input, we have the option to set a value. I want my door to open when the number pad's output is equal to 100. Now we connect the comparison gate to the door, and we're set. Let me enter a code. Hey, that wasn't the right code, and see, the door didn't open. Let's try again. There we go. Here's a game that uses all of these advanced machines. My opponent flips some switches on. My job is to guess how many switches and enter my guess here. The loser gets to take a swim. Let's play. For this last segment, we'll check out more builds that use lots of different machines together. Here's a home base that's been wired up with some modern conveniences. Let's head in. It looks like our host has thoughtfully left out some free candy for us. Nothing suspicious here, right? You know what? I think this is actually a needlessly elaborate trap. Let's check out how it works. The trap is triggered whenever any of these pressure plates are activated. These fans kick on to send the victim flying up. And then that way. Then down that way into... Is that a death pit? Looks like a death pit. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, free candy! Uh-oh. Hey, what a fun death pit! Whee! Back inside, we're looking at a fan elevator. This one is controlled by this number pad. Enter your floor, then step on the pressure plate. Let's try one. We can use nature's elevator, gravity, to get back down. Now, we'll enter two and head back in. Whoa, what's up here? The last thing we'll check out is a simple puzzle. The first thing I notice is this pressure plate right in front of me. It seems to light up a path. But as soon as I step off the plate, the whole thing goes dark. Let's go back and read these rules. Leave all my stuff here? Eh, whatever you say, mystery sign. Now we're armed with four pieces of coal, and I think I know what's going on here. I can drop one coal on this plate, and it'll stay activated even when I walk away. Finally, we've made it. Treasure! A leafy leaf. Thanks for nothing, mystery sign. Well, that's it for this first look at machines in Creativeverse. We love getting feedback, so let us know down below how you like this video and how you're enjoying Creativeverse R33 with machines. Until next time.